Okay, so it's February 2024 and something you might have noticed when you're installing Microsoft 365 or Office 365. When you're installing it, you'll notice it no longer comes with the Outlook Classic, only the Outlook New. In fact, Outlook isn't even shown on the install screen. As you can see there, you've got Word, you've got Excel, you've got PowerPoint, you've got OneNote, you've got Publisher and you've got Access. But the icon for Outlook is now missing. So where's it gone? How do you get it back? Well, this video is going to tell you the answers to both those questions. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So first of all, why has Outlook disappeared? Well, Microsoft have recently brought out this Outlook new, the new version of Outlook, which quite frankly, isn't as good as the Outlook Classic. Now, as I understand it, they're fully retiring the Outlook Classic from 2028, but they're trying to nudge you in the direction of the new version of Outlook. And if you've tried the new version, you'll know it's nothing like the old version of Outlook. In fact, it doesn't allow you to use pop accounts. There are several other features missing. I'm not going to go into those now, but my main reason is I've got some customers. OK, I know it's an old system, a pop server, but they still have their emails come through on a pop. They still like their emails downloaded to their computer and not left on the server. Could be for several reasons. It might be they're using an old email address that quite simply doesn't have IMAP or worse still, doesn't have enough storage space on the server to actually keep their emails and they don't want to change the email address. So second answer to the question is when you're installing Microsoft 365 or Office 365, as it was formerly known, how do you install it with Microsoft Outlook? Well, there's a couple of ways. The first way I'm going to show you is if you've already installed Microsoft 365 and you've noticed that it's missing, as in the case of mine, if it's just installed and if I close this down and I click on the start button and I search for Outlook. So I'm just typing Outlook. As you'll see, all I've got is the Outlook new listed there. The other way I can check is I can click on the start button and then just type control and then go into the old control panel by clicking on control panel just up there under best match. And in there, if I select view by large icons, we can see there is no mail control panel icon. Normally, I think it would say mail 32 bit, but that's just simply isn't there. So what do we do? I'm going to open up my browser. Now, this could be Edge, could be Chrome, whatever your browser. Go to the address bar at the top of the screen and delete out whatever's in there and type in there cwtek.co.uk forward slash WD, all in lowercase and no spaces, just as it's shown on the screen there. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. And if you've typed the correct address in, you should see this. Now, manage your cookies or consent if you're happy to consent and scroll down and underneath essential Windows downloads, we've got their Outlook Classic 365. And it says in brackets, if it's not installed with Microsoft 365. So click on that. Close down any adverts that come up, click on the cross and here it will redirect you to a page from Microsoft, which gives you an option there to install classic Outlook for Windows. Click on the download button just there and you'll see it will download. If you've just downloaded Office, you'll see Office set up and a number appear just in the top right hand corner of the screen. If you don't see anything appear in the top right hand corner of the screen, then just close down your browser and then go to any yellow folder and then on the left hand side look for downloads click downloads and look for office setup and this is the latest office setup so if you've already just downloaded Microsoft 365 you'll have an office setup and you may well have an office setup one but you can double check this by the date and the time that you downloaded so it was literally a minute ago I downloaded it or less than a minute ago 1822 and as I can see there the time there modified is 1822. So I'm going to double click on that one and then click on yes if this comes up. And this should now start downloading and installing 
Outlook. We're going to go through this process again where it says please stay online whilst Microsoft 365 and Office downloads. And as you can see this time, you know if you've selected the right Office setup file that's in your downloads because there you've just got a simple Outlook logo. Now this bit might take a bit of time because it's got quite a lot of information to download from the internet. So depending on how fast your computer and the speed of the internet is, depends on how quickly or slowly this is going to take to download. It could take a good few minutes. If you've got a particularly slow computer or internet connection, then it might well take in excess of an hour. But let's hope it's a few minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video until it comes nearer to the end of the download. OK, so as you can see, it now has finished downloading and installing. It says you're all set. So click on close. Let's close this down and let's click on the start button again and type in there Outlook. And as you can see, we've got both the Outlook new app and the old fashioned Outlook classic. So the other way you can do this, if you haven't already installed Office 365 or Microsoft 365, then go to download it from the usual web page. That's at office.com. Log into your Microsoft account that has the Office. Click on the install button just there. And then when you get to this screen here, what you want to do is choose a version. Click on the little drop down and you want to select offline installer. So select that and then scroll down further click on install and that will then download the offline installer. Now this bit might take a bit of time because it's an absolute huge file and I'm not sure how long this is going to work for. I've got a particularly fast connection at the moment so it's literally only taking a few seconds for me but if you haven't got a quite fast connection then this could take many hours. The file size is about 5.1 gigabytes so it could take some time. So please be very, very patient with this bit. So once it's downloaded, click on the 0365 homepremretail.img at the top there. Or if it's not up there, then close down your browser and open up any yellow folder. Click on downloads and then you're looking for 0365 homeprem retail. Double click on that. Now it may hang for a bit at this point because it's a huge file. It's got a process. So just be patient. As you can see, I've got the circle going round on my PC by the mouse. Just leave it for a little while and you might get this box come up. Do you want to open this file? Click on open and then you should see down there under this PC, you've got a DVD drive up here with the office icon and hopefully on the screen now you should have this setup. So double left click on setup and then click on yes if this comes up. And now what it's going to do is it's going to install a version of Microsoft Office with Outlook. As you can see, it's actually got it there, the Outlook Classic. So this bit again might take a bit of time. Just be patient with it. I'm going to pause this video until we come to the end and we'll just see once it's downloaded if it has indeed installed the Outlook Classic. OK, so it's finished installing. So let's click on close. Let's close this down here and let's try and do a search for Outlook classic. So let's just type in Outlook once we've clicked on the start button. And as you can see there, there we go. Outlook classic is installed. I hope you like this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things, including my Amazon shop, which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at 
CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.